Macabre. What's up, man? Good morning. Nobody likes me, huh? What? He likes me. Who likes me? You. And we're friends, right? <laughs> All right, so for some reason I lost my voice. I'm not sure why. Uh, I think it might have been the tooth. For some reason I'm getting a sore throat when I sleep at night. I don't even feel that cold. It feels like there's something in the air, like, it's kind of odd that my voice is all, of, I mean, my throat was waking up really scratchy. It might have been the effect, because you know when they drill in your mouth, and they're over there before they take a tooth out, it probably affects your whole system in your mouth, so. That's why my voice is sounding like this. Kind of like it though, it gives me like a different feel. But it's the first time I worked eight hours in about a week. So it just seemed like a long ass day today. I came in at eight, got off at 4.30. And yeah, so. <coughs> I'm not sick or nothing. And for some reason, I didn't make a lunch. Just, I didn't make a lunch in the morning because of my tooth. I didn't really want to eat a sandwich or nothing. And uh, so, uh, Anyway, I'm on my way home now. Yeah, I don't know. I feel like getting a coffee from McDonald's. Anyway, peace. So I'm not sure, <clears throat> excuse me. <laughs> I'm not sure if I ever, it's just sad to say, but it's really fucked up to say on a personal note, especially when I think about my, my father, you know? The one who claims me, the one that had sex with my mom, you know, the one that was my dad, you know? Um, so I got to see my kid yesterday. I guess I'll sum it all up right now. But, um, and when she had to leave, she got sad. Hey, how's it going? So anyway, I see my daughter yesterday and I'm thankful for my sister. <clears throat> but my daughter was having a good time. And again, I'm not comfortable around my family, but it is what it is. I'm starting, cause, uh, my mood kind of flipped again. I was in a fucked up mood being around my family, thinking that they're phonies and all that. You know how I, how I think about them. So I was in a fucked up mood, you know? Like my daughter was having like a little Easter egg hunt in, in the living room, but my family was just sitting there. And uh, my daughter wanted me to hide the eggs with her, but I, I don't feel comfortable around those. Uh, see, I, I'm, not, I'm not mad right now, Adam, but at the moment, I was, I was like in my head, like, I don't feel comfortable around these people. So, uh, shit, what is this fucking thing? It's like a stupid ass stuff right here. But I told myself, I don't feel comfortable around those people. So I was like, nah, I'm good. I don't want to hide no eggs. So then my mom, using her brain, and she was acting like, oh, you know, she's showing some uh, care. And she decided to like, you know, interact with my kid in a way that's like interactive, not just sitting there, you know? Like most parents do, you know? I mean, she's not the parent, but I could assume a lot of parents just sit there and think just being around there. A lot of women do this, I'm sure, because a lot of fathers aren't even there. The fuck you looking at, nigga? But a lot of women, uh, I'm sure, because they're just there on their phone, like like bitter about their life, you know? And, and, which Which... I'm going to talk about another part, but I'm sure a lot of women just sit there and, and they're not being mean to their kid, but they're not, 
they're not fucking giving their kid the wisdom that they that they know at that moment that they didn't know at, at their kid's age like you know like like kind of like doing the shit that wasn't done for them like encouragement saying oh this is what life's about um life's not about like being a follower or joining this group or you know kind of kind of trailblaze yourself you know you don't need a lot of friends you know you just need a couple friends you know or like oh you shouldn't waste your life on the phone you shouldn't waste your life looking at other people living like other people making videos or other people fucking chasing their dream you know because those parents how do you think these people became successful like not everybody's a superstar but other people are living the life they want to live like they're choosing to fuck people think talking on the phone is like fuck you looking at nigga <laughs> i like telling people that because i don't even give a fuck probably when i edit this out i'll give a fuck you know i don't want people to think i'm a dick but right now i don't give a fuck but um you know, like, like, so a lot of these women, they're mothers, but they're still fucking caught up in other people's lives, especially the young ones, especially in this day and age. So I'm just saying that because a lot of it pops in my head, these ideas. My fathers aren't even there, you know? So anyway, my daughter had to leave, right? So so when I go back to the idea that my, my mom, like, she was thinking like, oh, my son's in a fucked up mood. And instead of being like, to talking shit to me, like, Oh, look at your fucked up attitude, blah, blah, blah. Even though I'm sure that's what she wanted to do. She started thinking, well, what's the cause of this, you know? Why is he in a fucked up mood? Like, how come he doesn't want to show happiness around us? Like, and it's obviously like if, like, she started thinking, well, maybe if we weren't here, he would have interacted with his kid. But, you know, maybe as a mother, I didn't show him a sense of uh, confidence there's a reason why he's bitter with me, you know? And, um, like, I think she started uh, noticing that. So she, like, instead of fucking sitting there and, like, kind of, like, reciprocating the way I was feeling because, you know, she's the fucking mom, you know? I, she was, like, trying to, like, she was, like, actually going out of her way to be like, okay, Alwyn, you know, I'll, I'll be a grandma. That shit's annoying. You know, I'll be a grandma... And, you know, I'll play with you, you know? But again, I was already thinking, like, oh, she's being phony, you know? But I said, you know, I'm not going to say nothing. I'm going to just sit right here in my fucked up mood. And then I'll just do my thing, you know? I'll just let them... I'll let... Alwyn doesn't understand. She doesn't even really... She doesn't look at me like, oh, what's going on? Like, they, they say children feel shit, but I don't necessarily... Like, they're not totally aware. Like, they're aware verbally, but if I just sit there in my fucked up mood... They don't really notice everything, you know, so. So fucking, uh, so again, I was like, I was like kind of happy that she finally woke up and was thinking like, like more smart, more intelligently, you know? And uh, cause anyway, when they were, when they were around, when they were around, I kind of went up, I kind of went to a different space. I don't want to be around them, but I didn't want to be in a fucked up mood. I don't want to ruin it, so I like let my daughter interact with these people. But then I heard my daughter trying to get their attention because my daughter was drawing, and my daughter's like was telling them, "Oh, look at this flower! Look at this flower!" And instead of focusing on what she was saying, they they got into a conversation about gossiping about people that weren't even there. So I was like, "Man, that's stupid." There's a little child trying to get your attention. But yet you guys want to gossip about other people who aren't even there. So I, I came back into the space and I said, and then I, I, I questioned my child about the attention she was seeking. And that's when they noticed it. Like I didn't even have to say nothing. They noticed, all right, well, like they know I'm, I, don't, I don't like that. I'm not about that, about gossiping. I'm like, they, they, they even they ended the conversation right away. They didn't even feel right gossiping around me. Like, like, whatever. Let them think what they want. But I kind of like they kind of understood, you know. And um, anyway, that I sound selfish because I'm talking about shit that was making me feel a certain way. But when my child had to leave, she was crying, and I looked at her. 
And I felt phony when I said this, but I looked at her and I told her, hello. Like just because you, you have to leave doesn't mean I don't want you here or doesn't mean, you know, I don't care for you, you know? And um, I just had to make her understand that, you know? And she believed me, even though I felt insincere inside and I felt kind of lame, you know, and like phony. And, and I was just like over it. I was over it. I wasn't in a good mood. I was already thinking like, yeah, like I was, I was in offensive. I was thinking like, yeah, you guys caused this, you know, your, your lack of knowledge, your lack of intelligence on, 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 on how to fucking, on caring for the well-being of, of, of the future and, and like, and, and not being wise enough to tell the younger ones on how to really go about life and what life's really about and how you're gonna have emotions of, you know, aggression and but it's about that balance of learning how to be civil, you know, and what society is truly about. And you, you, you kind of got to get to learn the young ones, you gotta get the ones that are around you, you know, your children, your grandchildren, you gotta get who they are. Like, okay, this one is gonna need more guidance. This one's a little more aggressive, or this one's a little more on the angry side, you know? But if you never care to get to know them and, and you see that they're distant with you and your only way of combating that is as if they're healthy, as if they're healthy enough like just like you, you know. And especially if you're you're their you're their mentor, you're their peer, not peer, or you're you're the teacher, right? In essence, you're the teacher, and you're mad at the student for not trusting you. You're a fool. You're a fool. You're a fool. And yeah, and uh, they can't see that. They can't get it. They put me on their level. Like when my father figures are mad at me for disrespecting them or, or, or don't like me. Like, it's like, so any anything you ever try to teach me, anything, even your word at this moment is ill and void, it's, it doesn't exist. It, it, it holds no power, you know? Your, your respect isn't held, so. And um, so it made me think like, when I was Alwyn's age, when I was four years old, you know, she might not remember being sad when when she had to leave her father. But there's gonna come a time that she realizes how she feels today. And there's gonna, like, was there ever a time when I cried when I had to leave my dad? Cause I don't ever remember. I just only remember not wanting to go over there. But what I'm saying is shit changes after a while. There's gonna come a time where she like she doesn't wanna like if I if, if I don't if I don't show that I care for her in the sense of the wisdom that I teach her and the knowledge that I give her, you know, and, and, and the willingness to be around her and, and and the want to be in her life, that she's gonna lose respect for me. And, and she's gonna forget ever missing being around me, you know? So that I was just thinking about that and it was fucking with me. Like, you know. Yeah, I don't know, but um, yeah. Or oh, then um, there's another there's another situation too, but it's about like how my kid's only four years old and she already knows words like TikTok, and she knows words like online. Like, but does she know how to spell her name? Does she know how to tie her shoe? Does she know how to? Does she know that she, that she's loved? Like yesterday, I taught her about like. Like I, I asked her, what is a friend? Like, like, what do you think a friend is? You know. And then I started questioning, like, you know, what's what, what does positivity mean, and what is negativity? Like, what is negative behavior? What is positive behavior? What are negative words? What are positive words? Like, what are negative thoughts? What are positive thoughts? And I told her what a friend is, and I said, well, I asked her, do you think a person could be a friend to themselves? And she, she didn't understand. She's like, no, isn't a friend like another person? I told her, no, the way you talk about yourself, the way you think about yourself has to be positive. You have to be a friend to yourself because there's gonna come a time when the world isn't your friend. 
there's gonna be people, people, every single human on earth has been mistreated, you know? But some people are more sensitive to it. Some people are more gullible. They're gonna believe the words that people tell them. Cause these people are supposed to be the ones that love them, like partners, you know, sex partners and even adults. So if you, if you believe in yourself that, you know, the positive things about you, when, when, when pe other people try to tell you negative things, you're not gonna believe it, so. I gotta keep reiterating that and I'm going to, so. So yeah, she's a beautiful child, you know? If anybody ever tries to put her down or anything, I don't care who they are, I don't care who. But yeah. She's blessed, she's blessed in the situation I had me. I keep reminding her like, the time that I overreacted when I was trying to teach her something, when I overreact, I told her it was me. It was me that that was wrong, you know? It was me that was feeling bad about himself. And she's smart, you know? And yeah, so I hope the whole world could hear this. You know, here goes another long ass video. 14 minutes. I forgot that it's Sunday, so the bus is probably only run once an hour, so. Well, the bus is actually coming. Peace. All right, another sign maybe God was playing a trick on me. I asked some gentlemen, they were looking for a part and they we're looking up here. And all of a sudden I look right here and the part I was looking for was right there. Crazy. Uh, I don't want to do it. So good. So good. <laughs> I know.